like I said, I mean, in the beginning, uh, I, I want to pursue this because it's something I'm super passionate about. Uh, boxing took me out of a super dark place in my life, and uh, it helped my mental health, it helped my, my physical health, it helped my soul. It just helped me find who I truly am. You think that I'm running in place? Y'all really testing my patience. Right before I blow up the spot, I had to get back to the basics. What if my talent is wasted? It's sick, but I'm lacking a placement. Thoughts as I rap in the basement, but my come up is legend is greatness. There are boxers who need to be pushed to get into the gym, and others who love nothing more than pushing their bodies to the limit. Hussein Harb is in the latter category. The 28-year-old from West New York, New Jersey, lives for fitness. A former track star from Memorial High School and Bloomfield College, he now pursues glory in the ultimate test of durability, the boxing ring. As of right now, the only thing I'm, I'm hoping for is I want to get to the pros. Even if I do lose, if I'm not good, I want to say I did it. I just don't want to be the guy who was good enough to go pro but never did. You know, everybody's got a plan until you get hit in the face. And... If I'm fighting like an amateur bout, then yeah, I'm thinking to destroy him. I'm not letting him breathe. I think the number one emotion, and you know, a lot of guys like to not you know, admit this, is fear. It's fear. I'll start with uh, Hussein Harb. Hussein is um, a gym rat, you know, to put it um, kindly. He's someone who's always here. He works out hard. He's in fantastic shape, and that's part of his life. So he has that hunger to be great in everything that he does, and he takes it very seriously. Well, I actually started pretty late. I started when I was uh, four years ago, when I was 23. Um, it all started in 2017. I had just graduated college. And I found this boxing club, um, State of Fitness Boxing Club in North Bergen. And I came in day one and I was hooked and I never looked back since. No, I was born in Lebanon, but I was born in a small village where I'm from. It's called Yarun. So uh, yeah, growing up in Lebanon, it, it, was, it was a really fun childhood. You know, I remember just being outside all the time, playing soccer. Um, it, yeah, like it was just good. Even though we didn't have what people have in the United States, you know, it was a fairly poor country, we barely had electricity. So uh, in 2006, uh, there was a war uh, between Lebanon and Israel. So, I mean, there was a lot of uh, bombings uh, going on, which, like, it still blows my mind to this day. Um, uh, bombing of innocent civilians. And uh, we were sleeping one day, and then all the windows open, all the doors open. We hear this super loud noise. You can literally feel the trembling in, in, in your heart. Um, and um, for the remainder of the night, we heard that one of the houses got bombed and the person that was in there, it was still alive, but struggling throughout the whole night. So we had to literally sit through the whole night and listen to that. Uh, you just gotta be faithful. Always be faithful, always uh, you know, be strong, try to be strong for the people around you, the people that love you, because uh, you know, uh, you know, you're only as strong as your weakest link. I don't think um, 
people understand the like the insane conditions of war. When you're in war, uh, there's nothing similar to that. Um, in the ring, I mean, you, let's be honest, the, most, uh, the higher chances are that you're gonna get up, leave the fight, be okay, see your family, but in war conditions, that's not the case. Um, so when I get, go in there, I'm, 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 I'm calm. It's like uh, I've been in war situations. Test me. Yeah, guess I know no better. I ain't got no chill, so they call me a devil. I know. Look, I am just a man on a mission. If I want it, then I get it. I go. And if you trying to Harb's dedication has so far paid off. He won the New Jersey Diamond Gloves title in 2019 and 2021. His willingness to get in the ring with anyone, even experienced professionals like Khalil Ko and Anthony DeMonte has helped him progress and make up for a late start. Now, he will try to net his biggest championship to date when he competes in the New Jersey Golden Gloves tournament as a 165 pound novice competitor. Sparring with Hussein is always fun. It's, it's, always, it's always back and forth with Hussein. He's, of, every, of everyone I've sparred, he has the sharpest punches. So it's a lot harder for me to move away from, from his punches the way I usually fight, slipping and, and always on my toes and moving around. But we always go at it. On this day, his preparation includes sparring with a more experienced boxer who has already won the Golden Gloves title, Peter Roldan, a 20-fight veteran from Englewood, New Jersey, won the title in 2013. He has agreed to help push Harb to join the circle of Golden Glove champions. As physically demanding as boxing is, the sport is even more challenging mentally. After they exchange blows, Roldan helps Harb put the challenge into perspective. It's not that, it's mental. You let me outdo for my momentum with it. You a better shape than me. But what you doing there? Why did I tell you? Why did he walk away the last two seconds? I didn't hear no bell. That's mental. Don't show that shit. He's not a dog like me. Think of this. How much you weigh? Yo, I'm too tall right now. Two ten. He's 25 pounds heavier than you. Just think how easy it's gonna be. Fucking right. Somebody shorter than you? That's uh, that's crazy. Yeah. 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 Harb isn't accustomed to backing down from challenges. He fights for his three-year-old son. He fights for his family. The ones who came with him from Lebanon and the ones he had to leave behind. The important part is that he fights, pushing forward one round at a time. 